Friday night workouts out here at Red Line, just enjoying every moment of it. I just wanna say thank you to all of you out there that have subscribed, uh, just been a part of this whole journey. Uh, it's, been a, it's, it's a great thing waking up, knowing that at 11 o'clock every day there's gonna be a post coming out of, of something that's gonna be special, right? Something that's gonna be exciting, but also instructional. So I hope you enjoyed it. Looking forward to providing more, and thanks again. I'm really excited to see what else we can do. Hey, get the balls up! are warmed up yeah we're gonna do a little throwing now so I'm gonna do the ground balls and you're gonna throw it back to me all right I like to die I know I got you man I know this is a great group we're gonna do a lot of creative stuff I don't have to do just the basics with y'all I love it the high school guys I have to do just the basics all right line up with the free throw line all right I shall protect you coach yes please The sweeping motion, but we don't want to sweep because if you sweep it too hard and you miss it, the ball's gonna fly. And guess what? You know what though? That's happened a lot. That base runner should be looking for that because that's you could turn, you could turn around first base and get it, get almost a double on there. All right, so get down low. Go ahead, bend down low. Your pinky and your thumb. You want to open your glove as wide as your backhand. Open as wide as you can and catch with your pinky and your thumb. Now our elbow is going to be bent, but straight, it's harder to make the play. If you were to see the video he just took, your arm was straight on his back end. That's why he missed it. So the good news is, if we just keep our elbow slightly bent, and we get to it, and then, not sweeping motion, but we'll use that word, but just, just slightly through it. So I'm here, it's just a slight through it. Sweeping motion, pinky and thumb. But you gotta get down low. You gotta get down low, that's the key. Let's try it.
then that's when the ball jams you because you're probably afraid of getting that sting, right? So yeah, the sting is something that's real, but the way to counter this, this thing is to be more aggressive because you're, you're, you're athletic. Yeah. When you started swinging harder, you hit every ball right here. Mm -hmm. But before you were, you were kind of timid, you were hitting here, hitting here, so you kind of made the fear a reality. So be aggressive. That was fun, man. Let's do that again sometime. Are you going to crush it? Well, right now I was just watching him, you know, the, some of the balls he was hitting opposite field just seemed a little weak. So you probably saw me looking down, I was focusing on his feet. A lot of the guys, instead of them stepping straight forward, <clears throat> I seen them what's called stepping in the bucket. So they end up stepping out. So two things, <clears throat> two things I stress with them. The first thing, when you step out, you end up losing plate coverage. So now if you're getting pitched on the outside, which is what a lot of good pitchers do, now you're either gonna just miss the ball altogether or you're gonna hit the ball really weak. So that's the first thing. Second, when you step in the bucket, now you're losing power. So that's why you heard me say a lot of his balls that he did catch to the opposite field, they were weak. They weren't really hit that strong. But when you saw that he was stepped straight and he finished this swing with both hands, the balls that went up still had backspin and a lot of good carries. So I was just looking more at his feet and his balance more than anything else. Because when he also when he stepped off in the bucket, he would end up on his heels. So good balance, good balance is a, is a good part of you know being a good hitter. Hey guys, everybody up! What's up, everybody? Everybody balls up. Two minutes or else we're doing 100 push-ups. Hey, two minutes, all the race balls up for 100 push-ups. I see balls down here. That's how you take the strength. Hey, not a great job. Picking up balls this whole night. All right, if you all know us, you should you you would know that we talk about this all the time. Raise your hand if this is your first time with us. So you know what happens, guys. You're you, what you did tonight is you made us look bad by not hustling, and so now they think that's how you're supposed to do it, and they're gonna go out to a team, and maybe they get cut from a team just because of that. I know that sounds extreme. But what we try to do, remember, we try to coach you guys so that coaches have very minimal ways of saying this guy's not good enough to be on my team. All right? And there's coaches out there that are good, and there's coaches out there that are not that good. And you have to give a coach every reason to take you on the team. But I'll tell you right now, the easiest way to cut somebody or to tell you why maybe you're not getting the at-bats that you think you want to get is because you're not putting in the effort cleaning up. I know that sounds crazy, right? Does that sound a little bit crazy? Yeah. Yeah. But you gotta remember, man, just like teachers, coaches, man, it's a power. Some coaches have a real, they coach because they want to have the power, right? So at any time, and again, we'll, we'll yell at you here because that's gonna be nothing compared to someday if you get cut from a team because of it or if you don't play as much because of it. And again, look how much time I gotta take to talk about it. We should be doing our competitions right now. But to me, picking up the balls is one of the biggest skills you can do in baseball. Because I, I, can, I can never have a reason to be like, man, this guy can't play. But if you pick up all the balls, you're the fastest. Now it's like, man, we're down by 10. You know what? Go in there, man. You did a great job. Go up there and hit. And you go out there and hit. And now you, now you just earn that spot forever. You guys have heard those stories, right? Yeah. How someone, maybe a coach sits a guy one time and then someone comes in and takes it forever. That happens a lot. That's a real thing. So please, man, we say get the balls up. Just, just go as fast as you can. Because I don't want to keep talking about it. I didn't let him talk about it tonight because it would have been the whole rest of the time because he gets fired up. <laughs> All right, competitions. 
Older guys, the four. You guys are going to be in that far cage with Coach Zoe. It's only going to be four. Why is it five? How does it five get in? Oh, you want to get in that group? Yeah. All right, so let's do three on three. So five, I need one more person in that group. Why don't you? You're in that group already, right? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. That lefty on lefty is going to be nasty. Why don't you go in that group? Yeah, hey, Joe. Play with those high school guys. Yeah. Good job. Striking them out. All right. So you five, go ahead. You six, go in that far cage. You got a game to play with Coach Zoe. Good luck. Coach Zoe, you can throw with two strikes, throw anything you want. I almost said one strike, but we'll do two strikes. All right. Now, cage number two. Cage number two. Three. Let's go. One, two, and three. You three are going to be in the cage. You have your con hey, uh, and you guys are doing the heavy ball competition first. So down a little bit different, just see how many points. This is one team. Okay. Let's see how many they get. They're going to do uh, okay. 10 swings each. Got it. You, I tell you, you hit the wall. You hit the wall. That's a, that's a home run. On the fly? Oh. On the fly. What? Yeah. We can't do that. You're going to have those. Okay. Okay. No, that's not possible. All right, we'll switch it up a little. I won. I think you can. I wouldn't do something. I wouldn't tell you to do something you can't do. You gotta really dig into it. You gotta use them hips. Go to it. Go through it. Watch the ball hit. Four Watch it hit. Watch it hit. Four swings each. Yeah, it's four and then maybe switch. Yes. You said you can't do it, and then he did. He said I can't do it, and then. I know you want to be with the older guys. I'll get you next time. Hey, the two times you missed it, you looked to see where it was going. Nathaniel, just, Nathaniel watch your hit. Just watch your hit, it'll go. Hey, see that? I looked up. Yep. That's all right. Next person. Hey, each the times you missed it, you looked up. That's all. That's all. No big deal. So look, just, just wrapped up uh, the first of four weeks, uh, two hour sessions. The winner, we had one and a half hour sessions, 90 minutes, and it just didn't seem to get the reps, any instruction combination I was looking for. So we set up this two hour uh, workout. As you can see tonight by some of these clips, all right, we get a lot of uh, action plays, all right, but those plays are meaningful because that'll carry over into a game. And those plays that people think, oh man, what an amazing play. Well, yeah, it's amazing because we did it so many times. So we practiced those plays. Hitters got to face live arms. And these coaches are bringing it. So, you know, it's a matter of us getting ready for the season. But it's also a matter of us of constantly being challenged. And we did that tonight. So I'm looking forward to next week. See you there. Unless you don't go there. But maybe the next week if you go. Or the week after. See you out front.